Alright guys, um, I'm here with the new Green Poison RC5 update to uh, jailbreak all iPod touches and uh, all iDevices untethered. Um, this does work with a second generation MC model and uh, I will be using that today. Alright, uh, all you need to do is go to greenpoison.com and uh, for Windows users you click here, Linux here, or Mac users. Um, after the download is done, you will have to uh, open up the zip file. Uh, I use WinRAR, it's the easiest. Um, so go ahead and open that up. And down here, you just click on greenpoison.exe and it will start up. Um, after that starts up, it's going to prepare you to jailbreak and put it into DFU mode. So, what you want to do is you want to take your iPod Touch, and it doesn't matter if it's on and off, it works all the same. But you want to hold the power button for a few seconds. Hold the sleep and power button for a few seconds, and then just hold the home button for a few seconds. Uh, this it'll tell you to do this on the screen, so uh, you can start that up. You hold the power button, then we're gonna hold the home screen button, and then it's gonna power off. And then all you do is let go of the sleep button. So I'm just holding the power button. Um, it'll reconnect to your computer in DFU mode and you will be ready. Alright, now it's in DFU mode so I'm going to set it aside. And on my screen it says prepare to jailbreak and it's ready so I can click jailbreak. Alright, and it's going to do its work. So um, you can sit here and watch for a few seconds. Your iPod will light up. Um, all you have to do is uh, just wait for it to finish. It'll come up with a whole bunch of crap on the screen, running codes and blah, blah, blah. Um, but I am using the second generation MC model with the update to 4.2.1, so this will work on any iPod. Um, so for all of you that have been trouble having trouble with uh, jailbreaking your iPod Touch second generation MC model on 4.2.1, uh, you can do this now. Um, it'll just say this for a bit and then it'll get through it. Um, this will let you, uh, it just comes up with a loader and after it uh, goes through all the initializing and blah blah blah, it will go to, uh, you can install Cydia. Um, you don't have to worry about really, uh, I would back it up, but you don't really have to worry about um, resyncing because uh, it leaves it all on there for you. You can get custom themes and everything with this, even though you are on 4.2.1 and you are only a second gen. And now it will uh, start to load up again. And um, as you see, it's not the normal Apple logo. It comes up with the Green Poison logo, which that is a skull, but I don't think you're going to be able to see it on my uh, flip camera here. After a few seconds, it'll load up to your home screen, and uh, all you have to do is install Cydia. This does take a few seconds, I will admit, um, but it'll respring it, and it should start right up. Now that it's done that, uh, it'll say you can quit, but uh, I usually just let it stay up for a few more minutes. I'm going to close all this down. So now it's popping up with my iPod on my computer, and um, as you can see here, it'll start loading in a few. And there it goes. Comes up with uh, my battery bar, 
and um, all you have to do is slide to unlock and everything will be back as when you started except you will have this app right here called loader what you want to do is go to that and it'll start loading sources and then click up here install Cydia alright and then all you have to do is let that load up it'll install Cydia and uh, everything will be back to normal with Cydia included uh, you can get themes and everything it's pretty sweet all right, thanks, guys. Uh, that's the jailbreaking of the iPod Touch second generation. Um, it will work on any generation. If you have any questions or comments, uh, let, leave them in the box below. And uh, thanks for watching.